now the next setup is like uh, when we have set up the company's information then the next step to set up some users in the salesforce org so user can log in into salesforce and they can perform some actions if they want to do or uh, this user can be two types of users are there one is a human user and another is non human user so in human user there is a person who will be logged into the salesforce okay uh, he can be our sales representative he can be our marketing manager he can be our director okay these kind of persons who physically available they they physically will enter the username and password and log in into the salesforce second type of user are non human user so these users like we need to create this user in salesforce to let them access the salesforce but not a actual physical user will be using them so for example uh, integration user so integration user is some like this user can be used to integrate between to the between two systems okay username and password will be used for this user but there is no actual person who will be entering the username and password for this particular user okay so when whenever we create a user so either it's in a human user or non human user we need a license so every user will consume one at least one license okay so license you were able to see on the company information page like how many licenses we have purchased and how many are in use okay uh whenever we are creating a user we need to define a profile and a role to a user and a user can have single role and a single profile the user cannot be associated with multiple profiles and multiple roles once we have created a user it can never be deleted okay we can never delete a user once it is created okay uh if you have to create a multiple users in salesforce instead of creating one by one one by one there is a facility uh, of creating multiple users in salesforce uh, with the help of uh, add multiple user button and uh, there is a limitation with this particular this particular feature is like uh, you can create 10 users in a single single attempt so more than 10 users you cannot create doesn't matter how many licenses are available if you have you can have more than uh, 10 licenses available but there is a limit of uh, creating 10 users in a in a single attempt with this of this uh, multiple user button okay so let's see in in action like how we can create a user okay so i'm moving to the salesforce again i will go on on users i will search for user i'll click here okay uh i need to click like i will click on this uh, new user button okay these are the information which we need to fill up fill up here so i will i will walk through with some basic and required required information here only so the first thing like we need to put up first name last name so let's suppose arpit okay xr okay alias will be automatically updated uh alias will be a uh, unique in your org you cannot use same alias for more than one user okay email i am putting is at gmail.com nickname was automatically populated my username so username uh we can set like we can we need to put a username in a <clears throat> email style but it should not be like it's not necessary to be an actual email so let's suppose my email is vijayarpit.vijayarpit@gmail.com but if i append a xr in the back end it will allow me to create a user okay company name i can put tech matrix okay role we need to decide so let's see we have a this role we'll uh, talk about uh, more into detail about this roles so license i am selecting salesforce license here so this is the salesforce license as per the license profile will get changed so if i select a different license let's suppose salesforce platform so the profiles will be different okay so in in salesforce i think let's suppose i am creating a system admin another user as a system admin okay 
apart from these informations uh, we have like uh, we can put the phone number mobile mobile number here uh, address also of this particular user can be put here these are the local settings okay so by default this settings uh, come up like it it use the setting uh, we set into the company information okay so <clears throat> Let's suppose if your company is working in into a single single country, or if your users are in a single country, then always try to always set a set these time zones, locales, and language uh, with respect to that particular country. So whenever you create a new user, uh, these these particular information will be uh, will be used from that particular uh, company information page. But we have rights to change it from here. So let's suppose my company for my company information my time zone was uh, this is gmt minus seven but uh, the user i'm creating are quick he is uh, working to the india time zone so i will say it is i will say it is uh, local as in uh, india india time okay rest is okay like english and all and uh, when we click this so generate new password and notify user immediately so what happens like if this checkbox is on as soon as i will click on the save button uh, this user will like the on this user's email one email will send out and in that email there will be a link of uh, setting up the password so sometime what happens if you uh, do not want to send that particular email you just want to create a user for now and in later phase you like after some time after one day two day three day you want to send this uh, this email then what you need to do you need to remove this checkbox from like while creating a user uh, from salesforce okay so i have saved this information i have i have created this user okay so now user has been created into salesforce okay i was telling you about one more feature like uh, add multiple users so this button can be seen here okay and what happens like uh, we need to select a license here so again I'm, I'm selecting salesforce license because i have i have enough licenses for salesforce user you could see uh the count is one two so bare minimum information we need to put here the so first name last name email profile and roles okay these are the minimum requirement uh, required details for creating a user okay so you could see like total 10 information uh, are here okay if you want to add more users you will not be able to do like at least this 10 10 users we need to put the information for these 10 users okay and uh, we need to save them and the same option we have for generate password and notify user by email so if in bulk also if you are creating a user we have rights to like if we have option to choose like we want to send this email or not okay so this was about how we can create a user in salesforce now coming coming back to the slides okay so let's suppose you have created a users okay now user are trying to log in into salesforce okay but they are they are making a complaint like, like they are not able to login into the salesforce so on every user page we we can see the login history in login history we will be able to see like when this user tried to login okay and was was that user able to login successfully in the salesforce okay so this is the first place when whenever a user is complaining that he is not able to login in a system admin this is the first first place we'll check like if this user can can log in or not okay i'm moving to again the user page so i'm i'm, I'm a system admin and so it's not a place okay so i'm a system admin and going into the my my particular my, like my my own users in detail okay
see you can see uh, this is the login history so when i was uh, like when i was trying to log in so it has my source ip it has a, like a login type also like i was trying to log in with the remote access remote access client okay which application i was trying to log in so this was like browser search for cli even my location my ip also so sometime if i'm not able to if i'm not able to log in so it will it will um uh, it will give my access status like i'm like not able to log in and it will mention also like why i'm not able to log in sometime what what can happen i may try like i i can put a wrong wrong password right and i i'm saying like i'm not able to log in so this will be mentioned here like uh, why this user was not able to log in okay and uh, from this like these are very limited in, limited rows are here but we can download the last 6 months uh, login history via this button okay so when we click on this particular button uh, a csv file will be downloaded and it will have a history of this particular user login history of this particular user for last 6 months okay going to the next topic so we mention like a uh, user cannot be deleted in the, into the salesforce okay so now we have another question in our mind like if we have created a user and after some time if we do not want to uh, want allow him to log in into the salesforce what we will do how we will stop him login into the salesforce okay and of another question we have in our mind like why user cannot be deleted okay so because user is the person who is performing so many activities into the sales force so for to track that activities to keep a history of that uh, that activities sales force doesn't allow to delete, delete the user record okay so if we do not want a user to log into sales force we have two features in sales force either we can deactivate the user or we can freeze the user okay so <clears throat> in the both cases the user will not be able to log in into the sales force okay now if in the both cases user is not able to log in into the sales force then what's the difference between both of them okay so when we freeze a user user will not be allowed to log in only okay like in both cases uh login login will be restricted for this user but in deactivate like when we deactivate the user there is few more things we is there also like initially we understood like whenever we are creating a user it consume one license so first difference between both of them is like when we deactivate the user the license will also get released okay so we can utilize that particular license to create another user okay but but when we are freezing a user that license is not release we cannot use that license to create another user in salesforce okay okay now the next question is like when when we need to use uh, freeze freeze a user or when we need to deactivate the user okay so sometime uh, if you are not aware like uh, where this user is being in use and uh, what what are the dependencies of this user in the salesforce then the first step you can you can freeze that user okay so the user will not be able to log in and now you can remove these dependencies from that user so what kind of dependencies uh, which do not allow a user to deactivate so if a user is default owner of leads if he is a default or uh, automated case owner he is a default lead creator owner uh, if this user is set as a default uh, workflow user uh if this user is set as a, set as an recipient any in any workflow email alert and if this user is part of any custom custom hierarchy fields then uh, these are the some some of uh, scenario some of uh, conditions uh, in that uh, we cannot deactivate a user okay so if these are the if these are the cases you see in in your in your own for that user who you are going to deactivate i suggest you just go and freeze that user and then remove this dependency and then you can deactivate that user okay 
So let's see how how we can deactivate this user and how we can freeze the user in Salesforce. Let's see into the Excel. So I was on the user page. So if you want to deactivate the user, okay, well, simply, okay, let me go on to the another user because um, this is the actual user from which I'm, I'm logging. Okay, so let me go on to the user page. Okay. Let's say this is uh, another user we have is uh, Ansuja. Okay. So you can see there is a button of freezing a freeze. So if you click on this freeze, okay, user is freeze. Now this user will not be able to log in. Okay. And once we we unfreeze this user, this user will be logged in. Will be able to log in. Now if you want to deactivate that user. Okay, then let me show you the like how this uh, information is changed into the company information also. Okay. So you can see uh, 13 licenses uh, we already have used of Salesforce. Okay, Salesforce type of license we already have used. Okay, now let me let me deactivate this user. So I need to, uh, I will add, click on the edit. Uh, we'll remove this and now save it. So in this case also, user will not be able to log in into Salesforce. Okay. I was telling you like, uh, if user is part of any email alert, he will not be able, like, will not be able to log in into that. So same happened to, same happened to here. Okay, user is part of any email alert. Okay. So what I can do, uh, let me, let me find, find another user. Okay. Let's, let's do this for this user. We recently created this user, right? So I'm clicking on it. I will deactivate this user. Okay. Now in the, once we deactivate this user, this user will not be able to log in into Salesforce. Okay. Now see, let's see in the company information, like is there any impact? Now you can see earlier 13 license were in use, now 12 license are in use because we have deactivated one, one user. Okay. Now, when we deactivate the user, there are more options like we, we can remove this user from multiple places also like uh, like this user is part of any teams uh, like opportunity in case uh, the thing we can also remove from uh, while we are deactiv deactivating the user so let me activate this user again okay now if you see uh, you consume one more license now i'm freezing this user I'm not deactiv deactivating this user. Okay. Now, see. There is no impact on this. Correct. So that's the difference uh, between deactivating a user or freezing a user. Coming back to slides. 